ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर इन एम सेट मैथमेटिक्स एंड वी आर इन वेक्टर्स नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट वेक्टर्स इन वेक्टर्स फर्स्ट वी विल स्टार्ट वन ये एडिशन ऑफ वेक्टर्स दिस इज द फोर्थ चैप्टर सी कंप्लीटली थ्री 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 चैप्टर्स हैव कंप्लीटेड वन ए थ्री वन बी थ्री टू ए थ्री टू बी थ्री ओके दिस इज फोर्थ चैप्टर फ्रॉम वन ए वी विल कंटिन्यू लाइक दैट दैट मीन्स ही Fourth chapter from one year, two year, one year, one B, two year, two B completes means after again we will go back to one year fifth chapter like that. Okay. See the first question one year addition of vector. The position vectors of P and Q are respectively A and B. Okay. I will draw the diagram because if I draw the diagram then you can understand easily. If R is a point on P Q such that P R is equal to five P Q then The position vector of R is what? Like they are asking. Okay, four options they have given. The answer 2008 question. Why? Because see, we have to understand the concept. That is why based on concept, I am taking the questions rather than seeing the what what year and all. Why? Because see, why I am writing this way means by seeing this, you will get confident that yes, the answer questions we are able to do means we can attend the answer examination like. Okay. If I don't write these means, you are not going to care. These questions, what level and all? Okay, these are MCQ level. Why? Because MCQ questions only. Okay, now I am drawing the figure. First, you observe this figure carefully. See the position vectors of P and Q. Position vector means what? We want some reference of it. Let me take reference as O. And you see here, these are the position vectors normally. Okay, see P is there, Q is there. Position vectors. Okay. See normally from zero to R, O to P, O to Q only we are showing the direction. Why? Because vectors we are dealing, we have to show direction also, magnitude also. But if you observe carefully, the position vectors of P and Q are respectively A and B. That means see P is A, Q is B. Do you understand that question? Uh, that uh, analysis? Okay. Ah, now come to second uh, line. First line is over by drawing this. These two position vectors are there. Position vectors means the same reference. O to P, O to Q. Okay. This is the point or vertex you can take. Vertices. Both are vertices. Vertex. These are vectors. Okay. See position vectors of P and Q are A and B. Position vectors of P is A, Q is B. Like that you have to understand. Now go back. If R is a point on P Q, you see P Q you first. Add or what we can say, mix this. Uh, on this, uh, R is also one point is there. That means, see, like this one point is there here also. That point is R. Understand this? Okay. That point is R. Okay. R is a point on P Q such that P R is equal to five P Q. See, P R is equal to five P Q. By seeing, see, I am once again I am writing this. Sir. P R is equal to five times of P Q means what you have to understand. These two vectors are collinear. Same thing. P and Q are on same line. Okay. P R P Q are on same line. That means same line means same line collinear or even parallel also we can say. But we can uh, in vectors we will call it as collinear. Whenever those two are collinear, then only this constant will come. Lambda, k, whatever you may think. T, a, a b, a b we are not going to take. A b are vectors. T you can take. Yes you can take. Lambda you can take. Okay, like that we can take. Okay. P r is equal to five p means what you have to understand this. Sir. Both are collinear on same line. Okay. Now come back again. Position vector of r is how much you see? Position vector of r means again with the same reference. Okay, this. What are you have to find? It may be A, it may be sorry, it may be C. Okay, it may be C. But uh, you need not write why because based on O P O R and all only you have to write. Okay, now you see once again. This they have given. Okay, both are uh, same like we understand. Now go back there. See here, I want to make a. Two vector diagrams. I am splitting these vectors. You see, first understand carefully. I am splitting these vectors. How I am splitting? Observe carefully. First, I will split like this. You see. 
O R and O P I am splitting. Okay, see direction also important. P Q they have given. P R they have given. P Q they have given. Observe carefully. P Q means arrow is going from P to Q. Arrow is going from P to R. That means these directions are like this. In vectors, direction is also important rather than uh, not only uh, what we can say scalar, even magnitude. That also important. Okay, you see here P to R has gone. Okay. Another vector I am drawing, you see. Okay. See, again O, again R, again Q, direction is like this. Understand this? P to R, R to Q, O to R, O to P, O to Q, all are there. With these two figures, entire that figure has covered vector diagram. Okay. Now, come back again. See how we have to write, right? Because see, they are asking uh, PR, sorry, uh, position vector R means OR, they are asking OR, OR, in both OR are there. Wait. Now you see how I am writing this. Uh, see how I am writing, observe carefully. OQ is equal to, OQ is equal to, OQ, OP plus PQ. Is it okay? O Q is equal to O P plus P Q. You see direction O to P, P to Q, O to Q. That is why O P plus P Q is equal to O Q. O P plus P Q is equal to O Q. But what about P R? Five times of P Q. Okay. But we have not yet gone O P R. We will go it. Okay. Here P R will come. Let, 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 let us understand first. Okay. See O Q is equal to O P. So here, OQ is equal to OP plus PQ is there. Okay, now come back again. Next, you take this figure. This figure. Okay. Ah. OR is equal to OR is equal to OP plus PR. Okay. OR is equal to OP plus PR. Is it correct? Yes, definitely correct. Why? Because see, OP plus PR is equal to Y. Same thing we have already done. Okay, now wait. Is there PR? Yes, definitely is there. Then you write that one. OP plus PR is how much? 5 times of PQ. 5 times of PQ. Is it okay? Definitely okay. What is this? This is Y. Okay, this is Y. Now go back again. What is OP? OP is A. Plus 5 times of what is PQ? We don't know. You wait it. Why? Because PQ you don't know. You write only PQ. Up to here you write PQ only. But uh, OQ you can write. Why? Because see OP is A. PQ we don't know. But OQ you know. This formula I am writing again. You see OQ. This is OR only. Okay. OR. Okay. Now I am writing this. You see. OQ is equal to OP plus PQ. Okay, see, OQ is how much? B. B is equal to OP is how much? A. A plus PQ. We don't know. Write down PQ. Now, see, can we find PQ? Definitely we can find PQ. See what I am writing. PQ is equal to, you said to be the side, A, the side, B minus A. Is it okay? Definitely okay. PQ is equal to B minus A. You send A that side. Okay. Now this PQ is equal to B minus A. You substitute here. A plus 5 times of PQ. PQ means B minus A. That means A plus 5B minus 5A. Okay. Okay. Now you tell me 5B you write directly. A minus 5A minus 4A. Is this the answer you see? 5B minus 4A. Understand why because war only they are asking. Na? Position vector means war. R position vector means war. That's all. You understand this logic? Okay, see, this is a new concept. That is why I have taken a little bit more time. Next question onwards, we will go a little bit faster. Okay, take this, we will go for next question. Okay, see, question number two. If the points whose position vectors are 2i plus j plus k, 6i minus j plus 2k and 
Take like this figure and points also I am putting. You see, let you take this as O, this as Y, this as B, and this as C. These position vectors arrows I am putting, okay? And A to B, B to C, like this are there. Okay. Now you see, first vector you take O A, second vector you take O B, third vector you take O C. Points are collinear means A B C are collinear. Collinear means what? B C is equal to lambda into A B or A B is equal to lambda into B C. Both are correct. Okay, we can find lambda any constant. Okay, based on that we can find the answer. Okay, now uh, let me proceed further. Then, okay, see what I am writing. Let let you write R L. I am once again I am writing let O A position O A position vector is equal to two i plus j plus k. Okay, O A and uh, O B. O B position vector is C six i minus j plus two k, okay, and O C position vector O C position vector is equal to fourteen i minus five j plus p k, okay, okay. Now you tell me as per the diagram O B is equal to O A plus A B. Write down. O B is equal to O A Plus ये भी कामा ये भी is equal to वो भी minus वो ये okay हाँ वो भी minus वो ये see वो भी minus वो ये one step I am writing directly I am writing you see वो भी minus वो ये means six minus two four है okay minus one minus one minus two जे okay two minus one one के R K Okay, this is A B. Don't forget A B. Now find uh, B C also. Write down B C. Before writing B C, you write this. O C is equal to O B plus B C. O C is equal to O B plus B C. Based on this, you can find B C like this. B C is equal to O C minus O B. O C minus O B. O C O B both are there here. Fourteen minus six. Here it is. Minus five. Minus of minus one. Plus one. Minus four J. P minus two K. Okay. This P value how to find? Okay. Now you see collinear like that. Thing. That means see A B C are collinear. implies ab is equal to lambda times of bc okay ab bc both are there in front of you All right down then that means you see 4i okay both are correct 4i minus 2j plus k is equal to lambda times of ai i minus 4j Plus p minus two into k. Okay, p minus two into k. Okay. Come back one by one. You do. See, four is equal to lambda into eight. R minus two is equal to lambda into minus four. Okay, four is equal to lambda into eight. Minus two is equal to lambda into minus four. Okay. Now. Again, you see, one is equal to k, one is equal to lambda times of p minus two. Okay. Now find the lambda here. Only find. You see, we want this is enough to find the lambda, but uh, for additional checkup, uh, I am writing this. Okay. Now go back. Lambda is equal to four by eight. That means one by two. R L zero also you can find. Lambda is equal to minus two by minus four. Minus minus going to get cancelled. Two by four is one by two. 
Okay. Now come back here. 1 is equal to 1 by 2 into P minus 2. Or else P minus 2 equal to 2. You send it to this side. P is equal to 4. Minus 2 plus 2. Oh sorry. Minus 2 goes become plus 2. Okay. P is equal to 4 means your answer is P. Okay. Take this. We will go for next question. Okay. See the third question. Little bit lengthy question. If the position vectors of the points A, B, C, D given by i plus 2j plus 3k, 2i minus j plus 2k, 1 by 4 times of 7i plus 15j plus 15k and 1 by 3 times of 7i plus 2j plus 5 plus 3ak. Observe carefully, respectively. Respectively means A, B, C, D, 4 are there, 4 you can write. O, A, O, B, O, B, C, D. Why? Because position vectors means O, A, O, B, O, C, O, D, you have to write. Okay. Now what they are asking you see, modulus of AC is equal to modulus of BD. This is the hint like, based on this hint you have to find 3A minus 1 whole square into 16 value. Okay. Ah. okay. First of all let me write, first respectively means shall I write OA? OA is equal to this one I am writing, you see I plus 2J plus 3K, comma OB. Position vector OB is equal to second one I am writing. Second one is this one. 2i minus j plus 2k comma OC. Third position vector. See 1 by 4 is there. Don't forget. 7 by 4i plus 15 by 4j plus 15 by 4k. Okay. OC. And write. O D also, O D. Last one is O D. O D. O D is equal to you see 7 by 3i plus 2 by 3j plus 5 plus 3a divided by 3k. Now stop. These four are position vectors. Okay. O A, O B, O C, O D. Okay. Now you see what we have to do and all hint they have given. AC how to find? AC you wants to find means you see AC means so how we are going to get to OC minus OA. You see how it is coming under. Here 4 are there. Okay. Ah, 4 are there. Okay. A, B, C, D. 4 are there. Now you tell me AC. A and C how we are going to get to OC is equal to OA plus AC. AC is equal to OC minus OA. OC minus OA. OC you are having, OA you are having. Write down. AC is equal to AC is equal to OC minus OA. That is equal to 7 by 4 minus 1 I. 7 by 4 minus 1 I. 15 by 4, 15 by 4, minus 2, J, plus, see, 15 by 4, again, minus 3, K, first you solve this, why, because AC you have to find, AC modulus also have to find, finally, see, once again I am writing, AC is equal to, 7 minus 4, 3 by 4, I plus 15 minus 8, 7 by 4, J plus 15 minus 12, 3 by 4, K, okay. See, this is AC, but modulus of AC, write down. Modulus of AC is equal to, you see, 4 I am taking common, take outside. 1 by 4 square root of 3 square plus 7 square plus 3 square. 3 square plus 7 square plus 3 square under root. That is equal to 1 by 4 times 49 plus 9 plus 9. 67. But this will be under root. Okay. Don't forget. That should be under root. This is AC. Modulus of AC. Now go for BD. BD. Simple logic. OD minus OB. That's all. You see, BD you are finding. OD, 
OB is there. OB plus BD is equal to OD. Then BD is equal to OD minus OB. Okay? OD minus OB, right hand. OD minus OB. That is equal to. See, OD is how much this one? See, 7 by 3 minus 2. 7 by 3 minus 2 I plus 2 by 3 minus minus of minus plus 1 J plus uh, you see 5 plus 3 A by 3 5 plus 3 A by 3 minus OD minus OB 2 2 by 1 into k okay see this is uh, uh, you have to find again okay see cross multiplication you have to once again i am writing you see bd vector is equal to see 7 minus 6 1 by 3 1 by 3 i plus see 2 plus 3 5 by 3 5 by 3 j okay 2 plus 3 5 by 3 j yes correct the, you see here also See, 5 plus 3a minus 6, that means 5 minus 6 minus 1, 3a minus 1, yes, 3a minus 1 by 3, plus 3a minus 1 by 3 into k, okay, see here, question also 3a minus 1 is there, 3a minus 1 by 3 into k, okay, this is bd, not modulus bd, then you find modulus bd also, bd modulus is equal to, you see, 1 by 3 I am taking common, Take 1 by 3 common square root of 1 square plus 5 square plus you see this one you have to write 1 square plus 5 square write down 1 square plus 5 square plus 3a minus 1 whole square 3a minus 1 whole square but under root okay now pass and note down I am removing the question why right? because the answer I am not going to remove 187 has to come okay but you have to find 16 into 3a minus 1 square. This question answer I am writing here. This is 16 into 3a minus 1 whole square is equal to how much like they are asking. Now I am removing the question. Okay. Okay. Come back. Okay. Now you see. Both are equal. Modulus AC is equal to modulus BD. How I am equating, you see, given AC modulus is equal to BD modulus implies 1 by 4 root 67 is equal to 1 by 3 root, you see, 25 plus 1, 26 plus Okay, uh, 26 plus, uh, you see, 3a minus 1 whole square, 3a minus 1 whole square, but this will be under root. Okay, now, see, you send 3 this side and 4 that side. What it is going to become, see, 3 root 67 is equal to 4 root 26 plus 3a minus 1 whole square. Okay, okay. Now squaring on both sides, 9 into 67, or else I am writing like this is, 9 into 67 is equal to squaring on both sides, 16 into, now that square root is going to disappear, 26 plus 16 into, see, so after squaring 16 into 26 plus 16 into 3a minus 1 whole square. 16 into 3a minus 1 whole square. Why? Because in question they are asking 3a 16 to 3a minus 1 whole square only. This one. Okay. Now what I am doing? 16 into 3a minus 1 whole square is equal to you subtract from this one. 67 into 9 minus 16 into 26. Okay. Uh, now you do that calculation. See 9 7 or 63. 9, 6 are 54 plus 6, 60, 603, correct or 613 meters, 9, 7 are 63, 603, 9, 6 are 54 plus 6, 60, okay, 603, minus 
ओके सी सिक्सटीन सिक्स आर नाइंटी सिक्स सिक्सटीन टू आर थर्टी टू एंड नाइन फोर्टी वन ओके दैट इज इक्वल टू फोर सिक्सटीन सिक्स जीरो थ्री सेवन नाइन एट फाइव एट वन एट वन एट सेवन वन एट सेवन सी वन एट सेवन विल बी योर आंसर डी ओके टेक दिस विल गो फॉर नेक्स्ट ओके सी फोर्थ क्वेश्चन This is a little bit typical question. Three non-zero non-collinear vectors are there A, B, C. Those three such that A plus three B is collinear with C. C individually A, B, C are not collinear, but A plus three B is collinear with C. Three B plus two C is collinear with A. That relation is there. Okay. Then what about A plus three B plus two C? Like they are asking. Okay. See, uh, see this is like analytical question. Okay. See what I am writing. See, a plus three b is collinear with c. Means shall I write like this? So because any two vectors are collinear means with any constant you have to multiply. Okay. A plus three b is equal to delta c. Okay. This side also you go three b plus two c is collinear with c. Here we will take another constant. Don't take lambda. So because values we don't know. K times of A. Okay, three B plus two C also collinear with A. Three B plus two C also collinear with A. That means we have to multiply with any constant. K is constant. Or you see lambda, you know T also you know very well. T you take T only then. Okay, T A. Okay, T is constant we know. Lambda is constant we know. Okay, now you see both are. See this is that part collinear. This is this part collinear. You better. You take these two are like two equations, two equations. Now come back. What are they are asking? They are asking this one. You see, a plus three b plus two c. This they are asking. You see, this both side we can do it. You see what I am saying. This side you see a plus three b, a plus three b is there. A plus three b means delta c. Write down. Delta c. Sorry, lambda c plus two c. Okay. If this is the case, then you take c common. See if you take common lambda plus two will be there. This side, go back that side. Here also three b plus two c means three b plus two c is there. A plus three b plus two c. That means see what I can write this. A plus t a. A plus t a. Okay. That means a I can take common and one plus t it is going to become. Okay. How this have come from a plus three b plus two c only. Then shall I write like this? C into lambda plus two is equal to a into one plus t. Definitely I can write. Then that is the case. Shall I write lambda is equal to minus two and t is equal to minus one? Okay. If you equate it to zero, it will come. Okay. Ah. Huh. Now these values you substitute again here. Substitute and finally substitute here. You see what I am writing. Lambda is minus two. Minus two means what will happen? You see, a plus three b is equal to minus two c. Okay, this side. Go that side. This one first. See, t is equal to minus one. That means you see, three b plus two c is equal to minus a. Okay. Yes. Sir. Now come back again. What they are asking this one? A plus three b plus two c, right? Down. A plus three b plus two c is equal to this. A plus three b is already minus two c. Minus two c plus two c. That is equal to zero. Come back here also. See, three b plus two c is equal to minus a. Okay. Okay. Right down again here also. Three b plus two c is minus a. This one. Three b plus two c. You see, a plus. Three b plus two c is minus a minus a a plus minus a that is equal to zero. Answer is zero. Let us go for next question. Fifth question we see one vector a they have given in terms of unit vectors are there. If a and b are unit vectors directly they have mentioned why because i j j comes means unit vectors. A is equal to A is a vector. That vector is unit vector of these components. Vector components, I, J, K are components. Okay, two times of two J, like that. You can understand. B is minus I plus J plus K. These two are unit vectors. Okay. Then they are asking vector parallel to 
vector a plus b see formula first i will write parallel to this one how you are going to write see a plus b vector par any vector parallel means see that vector divided by modulus of that vector okay that means i square plus j square plus k square under root like that you have to write okay first of all you find a plus b a plus b a plus b vector means you add 3 minus 1 2i minus 2 plus 1 minus 3 1 plus 1 plus 2k okay 3 minus 1 2 minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 1 plus 1 2 see this is a plus b then what about modulus of a plus b 2 square Plus one square, that means minus one square, but uh, both are same. Two square and a row. Four plus four plus one, nine. Three. Okay. Now see parallel vector parallel to the vector means you see a plus b by modulus of a plus b. That is equal to a plus b is how much? Two i minus j plus two k divided by three. Or else you can write this. Two by three. Minus j by three plus two by three k. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, okay. We will do one thing. We will stop this class and we will continue in the next class. Okay. Thank you very much.